Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm doing your August 30th daily love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So we'll get started right away. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for our Earth Signs for August 30th? In love, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, in that order, please. Okay. Okay, your guys' essential issue is the Seven of Cups. Um, confusion, options, not knowing what to pick. Um, yeah, unrealistic, I'm hearing. Um, Taurus, you guys have the Ten of Wands. Oof. Virgo, you guys have the Chariot in reverse. And Capricorn, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, let's see. The um, second card on the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups in reverse. So you guys are having a hard time moving on, um, moving forward, um, following your spiritual path as you're meant to take. Uh, yeah, so Taurus, you guys have been carrying a heavy burden on your shoulders for quite some time. You're torn. You don't know what to do. Um, you want to believe that somebody is going to change. You want to believe that somebody is coming back or staying. You want to believe that, uh, that they're what you promise what they are, what they promised you. Um, but you are realizing that, uh, the five of cups just wanted to pop out there too. You're realizing that this is too much for you. Um, one person cannot make a relationship work. It takes two to make it work and it takes two to make it break. So, um, if both of you are not in the relationship, um, giving constant effort, um, it's, it's not going to be successful. And you feel, you feel like you are the only one doing the work here. Um, you're about ready to carry those wands right up the steps. Um, and that tower is going to fall. Uh, you are at the end of a cycle. Let's see here. Ten of Wands. Ooh. Taurus females. Oh my goodness. Wow, Taurus females. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So uh, this could be um, have to do with a fire sign or a earth sign. Um, so Taurus males. You guys are very confused. This person is playing tricks. This person's um, manipulating you, trying to make you think things that aren't real. This is somebody who's controlling. Um, they are toxic. They're toxic for you. Um, you're getting ready to walk away from this person. Um, could, like I said, be a Capricorn, but um, most importantly, this is somebody that... Um, They've had a hold on you for quite some time, and you're finally breaking free from that. You are letting uh, this relationship go. You just can't take it anymore. Uh, yeah. You just feel exhausted, worn out. Um, you feel like you take two steps forward and ten steps back. So you are coming to the end of this cycle. Um, it is going to come to you very clear very soon what uh, road to take and how to end this relationship. Taurus females, you guys have this heavy burden on you, This the weight of this relationship, all the responsibilities you feel. Um, and you're not wanting to let this go because your clarifying card was the 10 of wands in reverse. You are fighting this ending. Um, somebody could have come forward to you and communicated that they did not want to be in this relationship anymore. And you are refusing to let go. You're refusing to put them down. Even though you know that everything is not what it seems, you know that they're not telling you the whole truth. You know that you're trying to make the rest of the world uh, believe this illusion that you guys are this perfect family. And it's and it's not real. It's not true. So um, Spirit is urging you to allow this cycle to complete. Allow this chapter to end because there is somebody out there who is meant for you. And you won't feel this burden. You won't feel this sadness. You won't feel this heaviness. Um, you won't feel any of that. You'll feel happy, joy, love, 
Um, but first you have to, you have to let this go. You are holding on way too tight and, and the tower is going to fall. Um, no matter what it's, um, it's destined. It's destined for this tower to come down or go females. Okay, so Virgos, you guys have the chariot in reverse. So you're refusing to move on as well. Even though you want to, you want to be single. You want to leave uh, this current relationship that is um, delusional. There is there is no... Uh, you, have to, you have to follow your heart to which cup you know is suited for you. You know who is your perfect match out of these seven cups, you know who it is, but you're refusing to move forward with them because you feel you have responsibilities to your family that you need to stay behind and take care of. You could want to move to a cancer or a Sagittarius, um, with the chariot, but you're holding back. You feel like if you leave, uh, your spouse or your partner or whoever, that you're abandoning your responsibilities. Um, and that's not it at all. You may have to lay some responsibilities down, um, in order to move forward. But however, the chariot is here. So spirit is wanting and encouraging you to follow your heart to the cup that you know is meant for you to move forward because, um, you're not serving your greatest good in the, in the place that you're at. Um, you could have it all. You could have everything and, you know, sit here on your throne and just be abundant in everything, but you're holding back because you're, you're confused. Virgo females, you're growing impatient, um, with somebody that you're waiting to move towards you. Once again, could be cancer or Sagittarius, uh, remain patient, remain, um, positive. Don't give up hope. You're feeling like this is never going to happen. They're never going to move towards me. And, um, that's not true at all. They are moving towards you in the next seven weeks with seven, 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 uh, three sevens here on the ground for you, uh, Virgo females, big changes for you, big spiritual changes. All new doors are going to open up. And when they do, when, um, you know, this energy shift goes into full swing and all our planets are back into, uh, uh, Yeah, when all our planets are um, going direct, this energy is going to shift and your spiritual window is going to just fly open. So be patient because in that time, that's when your soulmate is going to come in towards you. You feel like this person's never coming. But like I said, in the next seven weeks, huge changes for you, Virgo females, very positive changes. All right, Capricorns, you guys have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So you feel like you feel defeated. You feel like you've been hoping and praying for this person and they're not they're not coming and it's leaving you confused. Capricorn men, you have strength in reverse. So you're allowing the situation to control your mind's mind, you know, control your thoughts, your emotions. Um, you need to regain control of the situation. You need to remember that um you are the maker of your destiny. You choose what cup you have. You choose what's in the cup. You choose who you give your cup to. Um, you are in control of the situation. So if you want your wishes to come true, you need to go after it. You need to um, get a grip. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I'm just saying you need, you need to uh, gather up your strength. You need to take control of the situation and... And just go do it is what I'm hearing. Capricorn females. Oh. You, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Capricorn females. Death and the sun. Tran huge spiritual transformations. Huge. Allowing um, the old you to be shed and the new you to come shining through. Holy cow. Um. You may feel like your prayers aren't being answered right now, but you're in the middle of a transformation. So everything feels heavy, dark. Um, this is your prayer being answered, but you have to go through the dark to get to the light. You have to go through the hard times to get, you know, to the happy times. 
this is being guided by the universe. Have no fear because you are being led on the spiritual journey by your angels. Um, you're very confused right now because you are releasing the old you. You are shedding what you don't need. You're purging out people. So you are very confused. But this is like a dark night of the soul for you. So you feel like your prayers aren't being answered because people are leaving your life. Well, they're leaving your life because they're not meant to stay there. Um, you're transforming into a, a beautiful spiritual soul that's going to help lead people um, in their spiritual journey. Uh, so you're going to be confused for a little while, but don't fear this. Um, the universe is going to show you very clearly what cup is meant for you. And it's going to be an overabundant cup of everything, um, joy, happiness, love, because, uh, it's going to hand you the ace of cups. So just have faith, keep walking that path. The universe is guiding you. Listen to your inner voice, listen to your inner being, because that's how they are, um, showing you the way. Uh, very beautiful Capricorn females, amazing energy right there. Um, huge spiritual rebirth, you know, the Phoenix rising up from, rising up from the ashes again. Uh, that is you Capricorn females. As far as love goes, you are, um, preparing yourself for your soulmate to come in. Um, with the sun being here, it is blessed by the universe. It's destined for you two to be together. So they will be returning. Um, you just have to, uh, purge out, uh, what no longer serves you and allow this transformation to happen so they can come back towards you. Okay. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for April 30th for our earth signs? One card, please. Thank you. Pay attention to the red flags. Yes, most definitely. Um, Capricorn females, I'm thinking you're about the only one that this doesn't pertain to. Um, Taurus, especially, there are so many red flags to let you know that it's time to move on. Both of the, uh, both male and female with the devil energy there. And then the ten of wands twice for our Taurus. Um the signs are cautioning you. It is time to move forward. Um, pay attention to those. I know you see them. You're ignoring them. Um, Virgos, you guys, uh, the universe is also pushing you in a direction to move forward, to move on, to heal, and to move into a position that you're meant to um, serve in this lifetime, um, your soul's purpose. Um, Virgo females, just... Uh, you also, um, don't rush this because if you rush this, then they're not going to come back healthy or, you know, uh, fully healed. And then, um, yeah, they're just going to ghost again. Uh, Capricorn males. Yeah. You need to, you need to, um, most definitely pay attention to the red flags. If you're dealing with a fire sign. For the Capricorns, um, if you're dealing with a fire sign, there's red flags being thrown everywhere. Also, um, a cancer, if you are involved with a cancer. So just um, be aware. The universe is trying to communicate with all of you. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a tough day. Again, earth signs. I just know one of these days, you guys all are going to have an absolutely amazing reading. Um, but it's time to let go. <clears throat> it's time to allow movement to happen and, uh, and allow those cycles to complete. So, um, and then you guys will be showered with abundance. I hope you guys have a beautiful Thursday. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me for this video today. Um, I couldn't be here without you. So I send you all the most healing love and light and may God bless your journey.